Former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers is our guest on Wall Street Week tonight, and I asked him for his thoughts on the inflation numbers that came out this week. I think the data flow is saying what I've thought for quite some time, that yes, there are transitory elements in inflation, and very likely they will recede, but we are basically moving towards uh, higher entrenched inflation. It's there in expectations, it's there in wages, it's there in uh, labor shortages, it's there in the pervasive pattern across uh, many different uh, prices. And people try to excuse it by picking this figure and that figure from uh, month to month, but we've got an overheated economy and the Fed's going to have the very real challenge of cooling that economy uh, off um, and doing it in a controlled way. That has not been done very successfully uh, in uh, the past. So it's going to be a very challenging year for macroeconomic policy. And I suspect that the approach depends on what the causes are of the underlying inflation. And we have various candidates put forward. For example, we talked with Brian Deese, you know him well, from the White House this week. He said, well, really, this is a supply side problem. Once we get the supply chain fixed, it'll be, it'll be all fixed. Is he right? No, he's wrong. Uh, we have a massive overheated labor market. We have the highest ratio of vacancies to unemployment in the country's history by a large margin. We have shortages of labor in everything from psychotherapy uh, to McDonald's, in everything from investment analysts to uh, garters. That suggests a surfeit of purchasing power and demand relative to the capacity of the economy uh, to uh, produce. And unless we bring those things into balance, we're going to have not just higher inflation, but possibly even uh, accelerating uh, inflation. And we need to recognize that we have an overheated economy that we are going to need uh, to cool off um, in uh, the time to come.